our last speaker. And uh, before Ernie goes, uh, I would like to have a quick round of applause for everyone who's gone before. <laughs> Feel free to include Ernie in some of that round of applause if you like. Uh, but we have information processing for lawyers. Ernie Spenson, Ernie the attorney. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go. All right, so what is it that we do as lawyers? What is it that we do exactly? Uh, when I graduated from law school, I thought, well, you know, we practice law, we look up the law. Uh, Peter Drucker, who's an information consultant, management guru guy who's written books, said that we are knowledge workers, which means basically we process information. And apparently we don't do it very well. Uh, for some reason, we spend a lot of time looking for missing information, which is weird because we have all these really fancy systems for cataloging information. Uh, so we're not very good at it. Librarians, they're good at it. Um, they're good at organizing it. But the rest of us, we pretty much suck. And the reason is because most of our information is trapped inside of paper. And um, we like paper. Paper's good. We know how to work with it. But we're not very good at managing it. Um, we need a new way of, of working with paper. Another problem that we have with paper is we tend to hoard it. Um, actually, you know, this is, this is a key stat here. We, we waste too much time looking for paper, and it's because we have too much of it. We think that all of our paper is really important, so we keep it all, and then we can't find the stuff that really matters when it counts. Um, if we could Google for our information, that would be great. It would be a really wonderful world if we could Google. But we can't. Um, we could search across entire libraries, but we can't do that because our information is trapped inside of paper. So the real problem to me, it seems, if we're going to process information, is to get our information into a form that we can use it more effectively. Uh, now, lawyers tend to think that we process really complex information, and to some extent that's true, but we're not exactly sequencing the human genome or anything. If we were, we could do it 500 times faster today than when it was done seven years ago, uh, but the reality is we're just kind of processing basic information. And information, well, what is it? Um, information at its most basic level is a piece of data. Uh, it is a fact. So what? Okay, so we have facts and data. Well, if we're going to manage our information, we need to do a better job of managing the basic components, the facts and the data. Because data and facts really by themselves, they don't matter. Okay, it's only when you put them into context of other facts and data that they take on some kind of meaning, and then they become, it becomes possible for them to inform you in some way. Uh, so it's not about the data, it's not about the facts. Now the irony is that uh, lawyers think that you know, facts are important, I mean that law is important, but really it's about the facts. And the key when you're doing this is to, number one, gather the facts, figure out what they are, organize them in some way, and arrange them. And you arrange them either so you can find them later, or you arrange them so that you can make a point by creating context. Ultimately, then, you can persuade, you can explain. And this is what lawyers do when they go to court. They make a point, but they can't persuade effectively unless they've arranged their information first. It doesn't work. Um, you need to be able to tell a story that's coherent, and the only way to do that is to get the underlying facts and to get them straight. The lawyers who worked on the first John Gotti trial had an interesting way of arranging facts. In that case, he was acquitted after a seven-month trial. Uh, he, the key testimony against him was six confidential informants who were convicted of a horde of various crimes. The defense lawyers in that case did something interesting. They took a spreadsheet and they put the names of all the criminal, uh, the, the defendants, I mean, sorry, the uh, informants who, who testified against him, and then they listed all the crimes that these fellows committed. So you've got basically a large bingo chart, and there are a number of winning combinations, including uh, pistol whipping a priest. Uh, so, the, so the jury thought that was, that was an important uh, piece of information. They asked to look at it, and they acquitted him. So the point here for knowledge workers is that managing information is not trivial. If you don't manage the information properly, you're not going to be able to extract value from the information that you have. You're not going to be able to leverage it. And that is the challenge that we face. Um, this, is a, uh, this is the Challenger. It crashed in 86, you may remember. The reason that it crashed was because the O-rings failed. And the O-rings failed, and then that caused the fuel leak to come out and exploded the vehicle. This was all due to the fact that it launched during low temperatures. 
And this was not something that the engineers were surprised by. They debated this question before the in hours and days before the launch, but all of their information was trapped in paper. So all this information about the, the launch and the correlation of the uh, of the temperature to the O-ring failure, it wasn't clear to them. So they weren't able to make a compelling, persuasive argument. What would have happened if they had put it into a spreadsheet? Something pretty basic, kind of like in the Gotti case, except here you can search on a field. And we, we search on the temperature field. You see strong correlation with O-ring damage, and it becomes very clear that you've got a problem. You can also take this information, if you have it in digital form, resort it, put it into a chart. Now here in the chart you can see that with a four degree temperature change, huge damage differential, this is 53 degrees, the Challenger launched, it was 32 degrees. So it would be 20 degrees lower than this. I think this tells a pretty compelling story. It's not a good idea to launch in low uh, temperature with, uh, with the O-ring problems. So we can do better at managing our information. There's no question. We have to do better. The challenge is to take this information, put it into a form that we can understand, and to do a better job of recategorizing the information and moving it around so we can understand it. How do we do that? Pretty simple. Uh, basically, uh, if you have digital information, which pretty much is where it all comes from these days, keep it digital. Don't print it out. People print out emails. That's insane. And then you have paper left over, fine. Make it digital, and now you can begin to process this information more effectively. So we live in an information age. We're knowledge workers. We lawyers are knowledge workers. If we want to do a better job, we just need to embrace these principles and make the effort. And I know I'm preaching to the crowd, uh, the choir here, so you guys aren't the ones that need to know. But let's just go out and you know, learn the stuff and have a drink tonight and uh, you know, do a better job. Thank you very much.